ago, I will read some very traditional poems about love. Last thing. Space around me shed its former skin, and it collected in the corners as wells of dust. Space lives on without remembering. I try, I try to learn from it. I pick up the dust, take a shower, rub off old skin. The new pink, moist skin remembers nothing. How else could I be sitting in that same room, sleeping in that same bed, taking that same shower? rubbing myself with those same hands. Otherwise, I would have to drop down in the corner, turn to dust, end up in a black plastic sack, wait for a Tuesday or a Saturday, and the garbage truck would come, put me in a container, and then drive on to these same familiar streets. I sleep in that same bed, my forehead like a freshly swept floor, my skin like a pink pillowcase, and I remember nothing. Drops of water. An excellent habit to save boiled water. An excellent feeling to go for a visit and see others indulging this habit. My ex was wrong. He considered this habit a mental disorder, bringing bottled water from the shop every day. Neutrosexuals and women inherit this habit from generation to generation. The boiled water is kept in a nice kettle to save many a parched throat on hot summer days. Yet there are times when unboiled water can help. When the epidem epidemiologist asks where could I have contracted this infection? And I got tired listening to myself, all the good, humiliating episodes. She threw me the lifeline of an idea. Have you been drinking tap water, perhaps? Yes, I cried happy and relieved. That I surely did. She shook her head and wagged her finger at me. With her eyes sparkled with warmth two drops of clear water. Victory. Let's play a game in which you could win. Table tennis would do, as would orienteering in the calm gully forest. We can compare our weenies or shots we have down. I'm ready to accept your rules. I'd like to see the smile that would brighten your face after the victory. I'd like to see how you fall asleep, satisfied, leaving me sleepless. Me, who upon hearing victory, achievement, success, just shudders with disgust. And the last poem, Bon Appetit. If you knew what's in that hard duck, you would certainly not eat. If you knew how that plate is washed, you would certainly not let it clean. If you knew who sewed your jacket and how its sales rights were obtained, you would certainly not wear it. If your mother knew who will take off your jacket tonight, she might not have had it for you. <laughs> if you knew where my mouth might have strayed, you would certainly not kiss me. If you knew what my mouth has said, you would certainly not listen. So, eat your dog, eat your hot dog, <laughs> button up your jacket, let's go ahead and pay and go to my place. What can I say to you in all sincerity? It takes just a couple of words. Bon appetit. Thank you.